Ready to go? You ready? Are we on the record here, John? Absolutely, you are now. Okay. Right. <laughs> I like off the record. So, can you update us on Lindell? You said you might know something. Yeah, nothing really different, to be honest with you, man. We just, uh, you know, he's going to get out of his boot this weekend, and then it's just really week to week, and uh, just being safe and smart with him. But, you know, it still could be kind of mid-December, kind of like we talked about. I don't see any uh, changes in that right now. Um, but again, after another week, uh, after we go through this week, we'll probably know a lot more. But there's really nothing, really nothing new to add, uh, positively or negative. I think it's pretty much status quo what we said in the very, very beginning. So no Iowa. I mean, obviously. I would, I would be, I would be, um, I'd be surprised. Yeah. You know, as of today. Where, uh, where did Cam and Durant stand as of now, and do you anticipate them playing? Monday? Yeah, anticipate them. You know, they'll be in uniform. Um, you know, they've, they've, they've checked all the boxes to what they're supposed to do, and they, they've done that, and they'll be in uniform Monday. That doesn't mean that uh, it could be two minutes, could be 25 minutes. I have no idea. Uh, it's just really how the game goes. But, um, you know, they now that they are eligible to play, you know, the attention to detail, their focus from a standpoint of practice, making sure they know everything, um, you know, I've got to make sure that that's on point, you know, uh, for them to, to increase minutes. And then whatever minutes they get, you know, like I talked to those guys about, uh, that's your opportunity to, to make those minutes, you know, grow. It sounds like you're not planning on changing the starting rotation no. um, with their addition. They're going to keep, yeah. keep, going, keep it working. Yeah, no. No, everything's – there's not much changes to make, you know. Uh, we just bring those guys in and, and continue to preach the things we've been preaching. And, um, you know, the only little wrinkle you'd have to make is, you know, is, is maybe really a transition every now and then if Mike and Cameron are in the game together. Outside of that, there's really no changes to be made. It's, we're solemn. Same, I think the same situation. He may be a little bit, uh, a little bit ahead of Lindell. Oh, really? So okay. where, uh, um, as of yesterday. But again, that could change. So it's really, I'm really more looking at for them. You know, kind of finals week to kind of work their way back in. Was it Solomon talking about Iowa then? I would, I would, I would, I would be doubt both those guys. I mean, if it was in football, NFL, where you're probable, questionable, doubtful, both of them would be in the doubtful. You know, range. Your team right now, whatever I don't even know what the record is, something like one, something like one. Is is that kind of what you expected, or are you above expectations? Or? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I just know that I've liked this team. Mm -hmm. I, I've liked this team this summer. I think they've done a great job. I like our chemistry. Um, I like that they're. I think they understand what they need to play for, and that's for Iowa State, and that everybody will benefit if they can do the right things. Uh, you know, Maui was tough, you know, um, you know, we played, you know, obviously Missouri in the non-conference. So you, you, don't, you don't know how all that's going to shake out. So four and three, six and one, I, I mean, there was really no measuring stick. It's a more look at about how we're playing. Are we playing the right way? Are we playing with energy? You know, how are we defensively? Um, and then how can we continue to grow offensively? Um, and that's what these guys got to understand. It's really not about six and one right now. It's about how do we get better? You know, our, our the, the statistics numbers look good right now, but how do we sustain that or improve those? Is it exciting to know that on Monday you'll be two guys closer to being at full strength? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, you know, we just it's kind of like I said the other day. You coach the guys you got, and then you know, as new guys come in, you you continue you focus on them. You know, when you're on red and you know they're not playing. Your focus is going to be more obviously on the guys playing, but it's good. You know, obviously to get a full strength, it's just going to make our team better and deeper. And I know a lot of people have had questions like, you know, starting and, and different things. There, there is no changes with that. These guys have done a great job, um, and then we just continue to do that. And everybody's got to kind of fill in and and and, and check the boxes that they need to check. You've Cam kind of established a style of play that's working real well. Uh, can Cam and Zoran? fit into that style of play? Yeah, I think so, they, without a question. Um, the one thing is if we went big, a true big lineup with Mike and Cameron out there, that would be the one little wrinkle that you may get away from some of the things we're doing right now. But I think Mike's gotten some familiarity and comfort level being on the perimeter, which he would be on the perimeter more as a four uh, than he has been at the five. You know, there's some the things we'd have to add. You know, one or two things. I've been thinking about it. and. Less is more, and I'm not. I'm not going to try to do a ton of things. You know, if those guys are in the game, we'll maybe add one or two things. But you know, I like what we're doing right now, and we just, we just got to continue to grow that package. In that respect, less is more. Can Mike be as good with fewer minutes? 
Yeah, I think he's, I mean, he's, what is he playing right now? Almost like 33, yeah, 33 that's what, yeah. minutes. And so, yeah. I mean, yeah. can he still get the same numbers? In, uh, yeah, I think so. 25. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you, know, you know, his energy, I just met with Mike. He, I couldn't ask for anything more of Mike right now. He's been tremendous, uh, and I'm looking for him to continue to be tremendous. There's, I think everybody's, we're all kind of, which is normal, you know, because you got guys, you know, being put back into the lineup or into the, you know, eligibility, mm -hmm. you know, lineup. You know, nothing needs to change for us. Everybody just needs to continue to do their job and do what we've been doing. And when their number's called, max out that job. And if roles grow from that, then that's great. Um, and then we'll tinker with it if we need to offensive and defensive as we go. But, you know, we, have, we haven't spent the last week putting in a bunch of new things. Um, you know, we, we're, we're going to stick with what we think is good for this team right now and then let those other guys kind of grow into what we're doing. That's easier said than done, though. I mean, mm -hmm. so is it – I know it's coming from you, but it is also coming from, from Nick and from Marielle and, and, you know, the veteran guys too, yeah, to uh, those guys? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I've met with all those guys this week yeah. and, and told them that, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're doing good things, but the biggest challenge is how do we get better? Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at our numbers, they're, yeah, they're good, but how do we sustain these, you know, as competition ramps up? How do we continue to get better? Um, you know, can we stay with our chemistry the way it is? Can we be selfless? Can we not – you know, show facial expressions when we get frustrated. Can we do all those things that great teams do um, as we add guys? And if we're selfless and we do things the right way, we'll be able to do that. And um, the good thing about having having great depth is it, it, it holds people more accountable, you know, to making sure they're doing the things the right way and the way we want it done. And there's only one little tinker that we would have to do with anything, and that's if we play big. You know, what are we going to run in transition? What are we going to run in the half court? And that's not that much of an adjustment. You know, I think we've got one or two things that we can do, even stuff we have in already that we could do.